this is Denver Black with Soilcraft. I'm here today in Zambia in September on a beautiful sunny afternoon in a growing potato crop. I want to talk a bit about how we do potatoes and how we look at potatoes differently. So come along with me to discover more about regenerative potato programs. What are the, some of the most delicious ways to eat potatoes? Well, here in Zambia, chips. Oh, chips are amazing. There's this also this amazing dish called chips maya, which we, we eat when we're up at Lake Tanganyika. Also, roasted potatoes, just roasted. Mm. Roasted golden potatoes here, delicious, absolutely delicious. We, we often start to work on our potatoes. We start our crop program, etc. We try to do our work in potatoes during the potato season. And I really believe that's a, an error because we need to be thinking about our potato crop one year, or, well, at least six months, the, the previous crop cycle, six months or even a year or two in advance. Now, we do that because we're thinking about rotation, right? We're trying to put three, four years, whatever, between potato to potato crops. When, when you have a crop like wheat ahead of your potatoes, be thinking about when you're looking at your wheat crop, I'm preparing for my potato crop. And so we want to make sure we're not just treating the potatoes regeneratively but we look at treating our previous crops ahead of the potatoes regeneratively. I mean, these regenerative programs, they don't work well anyways when you come in and say, okay, I want to be regenerative. I want to be regenerative on this crop. I want to be holistic. I want to be biologic on this crop, but on this other crop before it, I don't make so much money. So it's too expensive. We, we tend to go cheap on a crop because we say, oh, this crop's only worth so much. And so the problem is we're charging our inputs to just the, the, the one crop, when in fact we should be looking at it as an opportunity to lay a foundation prior. It's important to know that we want to look at a successful crop through means of management, not silver bullets, not, not flashy tools. At Soilcraft, we try to have the best tools in our toolbox, but the best tool in the world is useless if it's not a, not applied appropriately in the right place or timely. And furthermore, as a piece or a component with our entire program. And so when we make sure we get the microbiology down, when we make sure we're adding the appropriate earth minerals, calcium, phosphorus, we're taking proper sap analysis throughout the crop season, minor corrections as we go with foliar nutrition, or with fertigations, we can grow crops free of pests and disease without having to use these fungicides and nematicides and insecticides. Basically ensure we're working with life rather than waging war against. Thanks so much for joining me. Stay tuned. We'll be talking more and more about this crop that is nutritious and delicious.